Good morning folks and I'm back out again and this time we're with the boss she wears her trousers in our house <laughs> we're soaking um, like I say we're back out we're out camping um, and we're camping on a permission uh, permission me and Claire have been given to use and it's an absolutely beautiful place but at the moment we're absolutely dripping wet it's been that pouring down we're in and um, we've managed to get the tarp up above the area where we're going to have a fire um, but got absolutely soaked in the process we're just heading back to the car now we're going to go and get our gear and get it over now we've got somewhere to dry it to put it uh, now we'll get set up and once we're set up we'll show you where we're at because this is where it's at the day like isn't it Pardon? say this is where it's at yeah this is where it's at <laughs> <laughs> i uh, just have a little pan round, check that out. Yeah. We're just cutting through a meadow now, and it's absolutely stunning. We'll get you sorted out and we'll let you have a look at it. Hopefully that sun comes out. It looks like it's brightening up, but the forecast's uh, not saying so, like. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. One thing we can't do is control the weather. And I'm not a fair weather camper. Right, we'll get to the car and go and get our gear. Ready for a brew now, like. Hi there folks, we've uh, arrived at camp about 3-4 hours ago but we've been under tarp due to the weather because it absolutely poured down uh, I'm sure the forecast was only supposed to be showers or oh, this was some rain like um, we can hear a little bit of thunder in the distance but we've managed to get uh, tarp above where we're having the fire and we're both set up, um, but we both got absolutely soaked. I mean, soaked to the skin. Uh, we're just heading up back over to where we camped. Just walking uh, along here. This woodland's absolutely beautiful. There's uh, nesting boxes all over the place. We just have a look like that one there. And quite a few of them are active. We've seen a pheasant up over yonder um, I startled it but it's got a load of chicks a load of little chicks which was a little nice cutie to little see uh, the surrounding area is absolutely full of curlews oyster catches and stuff and the noise from them is absolutely stunning as you can probably hear we've got a bit of a 
water sauce and we've got that in. Yep, we're getting that in. And we've got a bit of a water sauce. And the wild edibles in here are amazing. And the plants that have medicinal uses. And there's self heal. I'll just get across here, it's a little bit narrow. Self heal, meadow sweet, ribwort plantain, silverweed. There's absolutely loads. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a little bit of thunder there in the distance. All right, we're pretty much at camp now. We'll uh, let you have a look at there that. There we go, there's camp. That's how we set up for the night. We've got a shelter there by the fire. We've brought some firewood with us in that big red container. We've got another one of those, um, just to make it easier from processing loads of firewood. We had it spare at home, so we thought we'd bring it. Plus the tubs will be something useful for sitting on. Uh, there's the fire area. We've got my setup up there in configuration there. So with the rain, it uh, runs off it quite well. And then we've got Claire's set up just here. We'll pan this round. We'll go from that way. We'll go from there. So there we are. The bridge. Beautiful woodland and deciduous. A lot of greenery. There we are, back to camp. We'll have a pop up here. Got Claire's coat there drying out. Because like I said earlier, we got absolutely soaking wet. There's a bit of corrugated steel in here. So we've just utilized it, put some on the floor and use it as a reflector. Oh and bits of old scrap wood down there to burn absolutely stunning you enjoying yourself Claire? yeah what do you think of the rain? I don't mind it <laughs> now it's gone <laughs> now it's gone we're going to get a cupper on and some food because we're getting hungry now in fact we're starving are you hungry? Yeah, definitely. Looks like we've got a storm coming over. That cloud there is quite thick and dark. We're just going to stop off here and have a brew and a bit to eat because we're both hungry now. Sounds like we've got a boil in. We just hope. That, that gives us plenty of time to refresh. in there but we're under here nice and snug got the fire going nice a fair old bit of firewood we've got some more to get how are you enjoying it Claire? Okay. <laughs> well we can't do nothing about the weather there's going to be any let up in this rain in the foreseeable future absolutely pouring down still the water source that there was almost trickle when we arrived here now it is like quite deep um, so we just sat chilling in front of the fire and it's time for a beer I think there he goes let's get these open up 
Cheers. Can't beat the weather, can't do nothing about it, so. This is where it's at. There we go, the fire is burning away nicely. We're just chilling in front of it with a beer. This is Claire's second ever wild camp, and now you're enjoying it, even though it's pouring down with rain. Still loving it. Loving it. You can't beat it, can you? No. Even if the weather's crap, it's still good. The water is getting up. We'll go and have a walk down there and have a look at the fire. It's a little bit muddy and slump, swampy underfoot. Just watch me footing, because it's a... Uh... What's the funny? Go across this way because I'm bound to fall over on that bit. As you can see, the water is well and truly up now. Claire's just over there chilling by the fire, enjoying a beer. I'm going to go back and do the same. Because we're both absolute, well, I'm pretty wet. Absolutely loving this though. Absolutely loving it. Right, we're going to get back and sit in front of that. Claire's been managing the fire most of the night. She's doing a cracking job. I'm going to go back and sit in front of that. Here we are, just sitting, chilling by the fire. Nice and warm. Starting to dry out. Are you enjoying yourself, Claire? Yeah. Yes, loving it. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've uh, got a visitor. We've had someone come and join us. We'd like you to meet Wilson. There he is. There we are. There. Wilson. He's a bit on the quiet side, like. He's not very social, sociable. <laughs> but he's just sitting there watching the fire, mind his own business. And we're absolutely loving it. As you can hear, it's still raining. But, and we're still loving it. Let's have a pan round. Just looks stunning. Our setups. Our home for the evening. We're just sitting here in front of the fire and there's, where are we at, there we are, a nesting box, just there. We're watching the blue tip going out all, uh, all the time. It's absolutely fascinating to watch, we're loving it. Oh, blimey, cameras all over the place there, zoom back out. Now we're just going to get back to chilling in front of this fire and just enjoying the night. What do you make of it so far, Wilson? <laughs> Perfect. Seize. I think the cat's got his tongue. There we go, as you can see. We are starting to lose the daylight. And you can hear, it's still raining. And we're still having a fantastic time. Here's Claire coming back over. Oh no, you can't see her. Watch your foot and Claire, we slippy. Here she is. You might see her just now. He's the boss, here she is. Here I am. <laughs> Don't forget There's it. the boss.
we're we still sat in front of the fire. It's all nice and warm here. The fire's nice and toasty. And as you can hear, it's still raining. <laughs> but we're nice and warm, nice and dry, apart from my feet. Are your feet dry? Yeah. Mine are soppy wet. Don't buy Solomon boots because they're absolute crap. Worst 150 quid I've ever spent. Uh, but never mind. We're enjoying ourselves. We're having a great time. We're just having a nice, what is it, rhubarb? Rhubarb and ginger gin? Yeah. And tonic? I see. Mm -hmm. Just uh, having that and enjoying listening to the rain on the tarp and the water running by. It's about what time is it now? About 11 o'clock? Yeah. And as you can see, we've uh, lost the light. I'm going to use a torch now. There we go. Get the tarp and everything. That'll be alright, that with the smoke. We've got stuff drying behind the fire. But yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. We're absolutely loving it. We're having a great time. Claire's tired. She's ready for a bed at 11 o'clock on a camp night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you. But yeah. Loving it. Living the dream. Living the dream. This is probably going to be um, the last recording of the night. We'll probably end it here and get back to you in the morning. But there again, I might have a mess about with the night vision. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see. We might, we might just end up chill out here. <laughs> that fire's really nice. The uh, corrugated steel that it's sat on and the bit behind it is holding the heat immensely, it's just lovely. I'm just utilising scrap that's been laid about. Or not so much scrap, it's just utilising some bits of metal. Nice and warm. Beautiful little woodland. Absolutely stunning. Right, I'm waffling. I'm just talking and talking and talking. Morning there folks, a beautiful morning, a little bit grey, but at least it isn't raining, it rained for most of the night, uh, but still it was a brilliant evening, nice to be in front of the fire, the wildlife in this woods is amazing, the clip before this you'll see a deer right into the area where we were camped, or just on the outskirts rather just on the outskirts of the area where we were camped. I'm just having a little wander through the woods now. The plant life, the animal life, and it's just amazing. It's a stunning woodland. And I'm totally grateful to Joy, the lady who gave me and Claire permission to camp here. Um, we're over the moon, it's absolutely lovely. You see there's nesting boxes all over, and uh, quite a few of them are active. I just don't want to get too close to them and disturb the uh, feeding mothers and what have you. 
it's quite warm. I've got a jumper on now, and uh, I think it's going to be coming off because uh, I'm a little bit too warm. Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Claire's still sleeping, so I'm just going to let her rest. This is beautiful. Now I'm going to show you what I'm seeing. There's an absolute giant oak tree just over there. How stunning does that look? Now we've got a bird using that nesting box. There we go. Maybe uh, I'll find a little spot and we'll sit and watch it for a bit. Here we are back at camp. There's Claire set up and Claire getting herself sorted out. Did you have a good night's sleep, Claire? Yeah. There's my set up. A little bit clarty, muddy with all that rain yesterday. It absolutely poured down for a good probably 80% of the day. But never mind. It's only Claire's second time ever while camping prior to this she's never done any sort of camping at all apart from being in a caravan when she's uh, enjoyed it so if she enjoys it in this weather then I think she's uh, bitten by it she's gonna love it because her first one was in February so she'll absolutely love it when the weather's good so we're gonna start getting packed away and get ready for heading off home maybe just have a brew before we do I wish I was staying another night right we'll get tidied up right then folks that's us ready for the off we're just heading back to the car it's amazing walking across this meadow We've had a fantastic time despite the weather. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, loved it. <laughs> it's stunning. If you've uh, enjoyed watching the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And by all means, please share. And don't forget to stay safe. We'll just have one more little look at these uh, views and stuff, eh? Spin you around.